Hey guys, it's Skier, and today I am releasing Chroma HUD 2.2, as well as showing off the Apexi EUM 2.0 FPS Pack 3 something, I don't know, it's what... That. Alright, the 3 2.0. But one of the major features that separates Chroma HUD 2.2 from um, 2.1, and really just 2.0, is the fact that you now have different text outlining and highlighting features. So right here, you can see that I have... Oh, well, you can't... You can't see my mouse, but in the top left... You have uh, the highlights on for the thing. So again, if you type Chroma HUD and you go over to here, you, I'm about to break my hype trend. This is going to be a rip. But you can toggle the highlight, and now you can also toggle the shadow. But the shadow isn't really that visible with this. It's more visible without. So you can turn off the highlight. So if I turn off the highlight and keep on the shadow. Oh, God, we're outside the map. No oh, rip. Rip dreams. Everyone's freaking out. Let me, let me get back in. Alright, so, now your text can look good as well as you can also just read it way easier even before you have the highlighting on. But if you want to turn the highlighting on, you just turn Chroma HUD. You go like this, and where is it? Highlight. There you go. Now uh, you also see over a random C counter. You're like, yo, skier, what the freak is this C counter? Well, the C counter is something used by most UHD players and a bunch of other people. And what it does is it basically just shows you airspaces ahead and like the chunk ahead of you. So like right now, it's going to be high. It's like, you know, void and stuff. Yeah, I I'm great at explaining. Let me cut to uh, what I can get a better explanation of what the C counter is. So basically, if it's below 10, you're looking that direction, then don't keep going that way. But as soon as it hits 10, then keep mining the way until it continues to go up. And if it's above like 50, then it's either like a big cave or a ravine. If you're digging straight down and it's above 50, then it's probably a ravine. Alright, so Twitter said that people still don't understand how to use this mod, so we'll do a little quick tutorial. Basically, it's Chroma HUD. You can have stuff, so you do Chroma HUD. You're probably thinking it's going to come with something in the middle of your screen. You're going to click it here, and then click Edit. And then, but for the purposes of this, we're just going to make a new element. And from here, you can either delete the element so it goes away. But we don't want to delete it. We want to add an item. So let's, you know, let's see the new thing. So we're going to add a C counter, and we're going to add... A Darrow counter HUD. There we go. So now that we have those, by default, they're going to be Chroma, and they're also going to be in the center of your screen. So I'm going to move that. I don't know. There. It's a great spot for that. But you can change its size, like this. You can make it smaller, bigger. You know, you can make it tiny. But we're just going to put it back to 100% so it's normal sized. Now you can rotate the color. You have a choice of a few colors, like this. And then you also can change whether there's a shadow on it or not. Let's see. Shadow. No shadow. You can barely see it like this, but if you have like highlighting off, it's kind of hard to see if you don't have a shadow on it. But with a shadow, it's a lot easier to see. Like, look at that versus like, uh, like that. I don't know. It's just easier to see. But if you really want to be able to see it like any time, just turn the highlight thing on because that just like makes it dark around it. You know. All right. Yeah. That that's like most of the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, go download the mod, go check out Apexi's thing because he's doing packs and something like that. Go follow Hannah on Twitter. I don't know, this is really just like time so I can put the uh, the, the 20 second things on the, the screen. So go click those too. Bye! If you need help, DM me on Twitter at Skier.